Each day, countless journalism students board trains to New York City for their internships. The majority of these internships are unpaid and few are ever reimbursed for high cost of travel and food. But will these internships lead to the jobs they hope for? For some students, like Justin Calder, it can be hard to envision success in the future when faced with financial hardships. Anytime you're paying to commute somewhere, you could, be you could be working a different job and getting money from another source. So it's like you're losing money and you could be making money at the same time, so it's like a double hit. Calder commits 12 hours on a typical workday in addition to the $26 round trip cost of a train ticket from New Brunswick to New York. But Rutgers internship coordinator Stephen Miller says that students can't put a price on the experience gained outside the classroom. If you say you invest $1,000 in travel and food and time into the internship and you get a $35,000 a year job out of it, that $1,000 just turned into $35,000. That's a better bet than the stock market. Miller and Journalism Department Chair Jack Braddock are trying to alleviate the issue through the creation of a program that would reimburse students for their travel costs. The money would come from alumni and department funds. It's, it's really a crime. I mean, this is, uh, all we can do is a drop in the bucket, really. The changes have to be structural to, to and there are class action lawsuits against companies that make a certain amount of money to say, like, they should not have essentially indentured servitude is what most of these are. While students fear that internships may not be enough to combat the rising unemployment rate, Miller believes the risks are worth taking. Who is in college and has the opportunity to go out into the real world and learn how to operate out there is foolish. Last summer, the Journalism and Media Studies Department launched a pilot program for their reimbursement fund, giving each student $200 to $250 for their expenses. While the program did not continue into the following academic year, the department is hopeful in permanently sustaining this program for the future. For JMS News, I'm Ruby Liu.